I gotta get this thing off. Ah. All right, before I start into the words that I have written, I, uh, I just want to thank my wife Erin again and, and my family. Uh, one of the things that we agreed going into this was uh, uh, that uh, she get to go on a bunch of trips. And uh, I don't think she realized how many or how many that I'd be going on. So uh, thank you again. And my two girls aren't here, but thanks to them. Uh, my mother right here, Sandy, uh, sitting right here at this front table. So. Um, What I want to do to, tonight is start, I want to paraphrase the best sportscaster in the history of baseball and my favorite voice in sports, and that's Vin Scully. I have tremendous respect for everyone who wears or has ever worn the real terrar. I know how hard it is to become a successful real estate professional, and I know how hard it is to stay where you are. Please let you all stay and let you all have great careers. I'm going to start off thanking all of you board of directors for the opportunity to serve as your chair. Your enthusiasm and your passion for this business have driven this organization to perform at the highest level in the game today. To the local associations, thank you for your input, support, and your hospitality during my visits throughout the state over the past year. To all the members who are not here tonight and those that are, Thank you for supporting our great association and affording me and the Leadership Council a chance to learn about you and bring the Colorado Association to your boards. And last but not least, I thank our wonderful Colorado Realtor staff for performing seamless F F <laughs> seemingly effortless magic like Nolan Arenado, number 28, you just saw his jersey, when he turns a jaw-dropping play. Uh, please join me in applause for the staff here at Carr. As with baseball, the Colorado Association is a team effort. At the end of my inaugural speech last year, I asked, what kind of player do you want to be? Batter up. As I started to reflect on what we have accomplished this last year, and we're not done just yet, I believe our answer was loud and clear, just like the Rockies storming into the playoffs this year. What did we accomplish earlier this year? Uh, construction defects. We thought we had won our own major league wild card with our efforts to pass a bill with education for homeowners in an HOA and their collective majority vote prior to any legal action. Then two weeks later, we advanced to the pennant when the Supreme Court of Colorado agreed to include the arbitration we found essential to the problem. Transfer taxes and commission disclosure. Once again, we battled initiatives that negatively affect, affected uh, consumers and our business. Real estate commission and managing brokers. We worked with the legislature and the Real Estate Commission to ensure thoughtful reg regulation of our industry to keep consumers safe, strengthen the requirements for managing brokers, and maintain Conway Bogue through form definitions and execution so that we can maintain our professional position in the real estate transaction. Convention Task Force, we took a hard look at conventions, even while we were executing events for Spring Conference and a wonderful conference for Region 11. Our volunteers were able to move the concepts forward, and we hope you enjoy the changes to enhance our fall meetings. Structure of the organization, we instituted task forces throughout the year to contemplate and study updates. Uh, to our practices and recommended cha recommend changes in both committee structure and NAR directors. And on the education front, our member services committee introduced and launched the gamification platform. This innovative program enables realtor members to have fun with a learning experience that's as rich and valuable as a classroom experience. Our leadership academy, open up your brochures on your table. We supported 16 new graduates this year through an intensive curriculum. Uh, we are seeing previous graduates move into car leadership and also excelling in their local associations. With comprehensive market reports and analysis, our members have data 
that they can rely on to communicate with their clients. The spokes, our spokespeople have done an outstanding job of using this information to communicate our realtor message to the public through the media. On the legal front, expanded hours have resulted in higher use of the legal hotline, which has <clears throat> resulted in money savings and prompt response to broker questions. On the technology front, the Leadership Council approved the new conference room system so that we can continue excellent communications with and throughout the state with state-of-the-art equipment. Financial, we operated within budget while improving systems to better serve our members and our local associations. Our organization is financially sound as we approach our reserve requirement with over 25,000 members. Finally, I'm excited about our current direction with the Colorado Realtor Foundation. In the same manner as realtors from across the country were willing to assist when Colorado had its flood disasters a couple years ago, the foundation joined the Colorado Association of Realtors in providing disaster relief as hurricanes raged across the south this year. Last year, I introduced the concept of circling the R. This thing right here. We had fun with this idea. We hope that it continues. We were able to share with a number of our members the spirit of being a realtor, the importance of being a realtor, and we learned a couple things. We already knew that many members weren't really sure why they were realtors, but we found they pronounced it a little better as the year went on. We found that many did not have the R embedded on their cards, so they had to write it in. But most importantly, we found out that people wanted to have that conversation. They already had the question, and they wanted to talk about it. If you haven't had the conversation yet, get it started. Now you know what to do. The longtime shortstop for the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter, said, there may be people that have more talent than you, but there is no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. And when I look back on this past year, I just want to thank all of you, leadership, volunteers, staff, who worked so hard to make this the great association, providing great programs and services to our realtor members. Thank you very much.